I'm Anil Kumar. Here is question number two on linear systems application. We have taken simple examples to understand this strategy. So the idea is as you read the question, you should understand what you need to find, accordingly define the variables, then solve the system of equations, right? That's the strategy. Let's read the question. It says, for a school drama play, 256 tickets were sold. So that's the total number of tickets sold, 256. Adult tickets cost $1.05 and student tickets cost $2. There are two types of tickets. One is for adults. The other one is for students. How many tickets of each kind were sold if the total revenue for the evening was $1.767? Right? So that's your final statement, which is the question for you, right? Now let's read the final statement once again. It says, how many tickets of each kind? What kind? Adults and students. So that helps you to define the variables, correct? So let's define variables now. Normally it is done with let statement. So we say let number of adult tickets b a and let number of student tickets s now it is not necessary to always write x and y i prefer to use variables which are meaningful and which can connect you with the given question, right? So A for adults and S for students. Okay. Now, after defining the variables, read your question again. For each statement, write down an equation. So now what we'll do is, we'll translate statement to equation. First statement. For a school drama play, 256 tickets were sold. So that is the total number of tickets, right? Total number. So you could write an equation, which is A plus S equals to 256. That is the total number of tickets sold. Does make sense, right? So at times it may be tricky, but you have to like correlate, right? Now the second statement is, Adult tickets cost $1.05 and students tickets cost $2, right? So if you sell A, the revenue will be 5 times A, right? If you sell 2, 5 times 2, you get $10. If you sell 4 tickets, you'll get 4 times 5, $20 for adults, right? If you sell 10 tickets for students, you'll get 10 times 2, $20. So that's called revenue, right? So you generate revenue by selling these tickets. And that should be number of tickets sold times its value. Is it okay? Now, we are given how many tickets of each kind were sold if the total revenue for the evening was 765. So, that is the word revenue which you need to understand. So, let me write down here. So, revenue is product of cost times number. Is that okay? So in this case, if you sell 10 students ticket, revenue will be 10 times 20, 10 times 2, which is $20. Perfect. Now, since the cost for adult is 5 and student is 2, what is going to be the revenue? 5 times A, right? Plus 2 times number of students who bought those tickets, right? $2 each. And the amount is 767. Do you see that? So we get two equations. We'll number them as 1 and 2. So that is how you should begin solving your question. Read your question, define variables, write statements as equations. Now it is simple. Now what you need to do is either apply the strategy of elimination or substitution. Now here from equation 1, we can rewrite what A is in terms of S, right? So here, we can write this equation as 
A is equals to 256 minus S. Do you see that? So we define one variable in terms of another. And we'll call this as our equation number 3. Then we substitute 3 in 2. Right? Then we just do sub equation 3 in 2. That is to say, we'll substitute this value of A in here. So what we get here is 5 times within brackets A in terms of S, 256 minus S. Is it okay? And we already have plus 2S equals to 767. You get an idea. So this gives you an equation only in terms of S. So we get an equation in one variable. Do you see this? One variable. So the idea is to get to one variable. Is it okay? Now we can expand this bracket. So 5 times 256 is equals to 1280. So we get 1280 minus 5s plus 2s equals to 767. Bringing variables to one side, 1280 minus 767 equals to these terms to the other side, we get 5s minus 2s. So 1280 minus 767 is equals to 513. So we get 513 equal to 3s. Is it okay? Now we can solve for s. 513 equals to 3s. So let's do it on the right side. So we'll rewrite. We'll write 3s as equals to 513, s is equals to 513 divided by 3, right? So let's divide. 513 by 3, we get 171. So we know students were 171. We'll call this as our equation 4 and find the number of adults tickets sold from equation 3. So we'll substitute 4 in 3. So adults, a, will be 256 minus 171 which is so we'll do 256 minus 171 85 so there are 85 adults and 171 tic uh, student tickets sold so the question is how many tickets of each kind were sold right so we say uh, we can now clearly write down our answer the answer is Adults, 85 tickets, and for students, 171 tickets. Is it okay? So that is how you can solve word problems. So understand how to define variables and write equations from the given statements and apply the techniques learned, mainly substitution and elimination, to solve for the variables. Don't forget to write answer clearly along with units. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.